Hello guys, I should game plays. I'm fa oh wait, just to, just wait. Hello guys, I should game plays. I'm Fabio Pisco, and today I bring you a different kind of video of the usual. This time with a how to overclock a GPU, so a tutorial of GPU overclocking thing I haven't done in quite some time. The GPU will be the RX 570, so the AMD RX 570. And well, as always, I will try to make things as easier as they can be, because I like easy things, obviously, and you that are watching this video, of course, you want the things as easy as they can be, so that's what I'm going to do. And well, it is basically it. If you are asking yourselves, why am I wearing this kind of sweatshirt, I think you call it a sweatshirt, why am I wearing a sweatshirt inside my house, it is because I have no AC and it is fucking cold outside and in here also because Portugal man, Portugal. So guys, if you like what you're seeing, watch also my other videos here because they are also awesome and I, oh, I'm i almost certain you will enjoy most of them. And if you like this case you see here on the back, just watch this video because it is a complete review of this case which is a Nox Infinity Neon. Don't forget, hit like, subscribe, share the video because that helps a lot, it really helps a lot. And let's now go to the part that really matters, the tutorial. See you soon. Okay guys, let's now go to the really interesting part, the overclocking, at least for you and for me also. Anyway. Many people use the most common uh, software for overclocking, which is the MSI Afterburner, because it can overclock almost every single GPU you throw at it. Um, but since we are using an AMD GPU, I want to have a more fine tuning. And for that, we have the, um, the inbuilt, uh, the inbuilt uh, AMD Wattman on the AMD drivers. So after you install the AMD drivers, just click on the right button on your desktop and you see here AMD Radeon settings. Okay, you go there. After that, go to the gaming tab, open it and go to global settings. If you want to overclock for a singular game, for example, just choose the game you want or add the game you want here. But anyway, let's go to the global settings for every games. After global settings, go to global Watman which is the overclocking uh, software. Open it, and here we are. So we have the GPU, the core, we have the memory, which is the VRAM, in this case 4 GB, and we have the fan and temperatures uh, menus. Um, the first thing we have to do, in my opinion, is here on the power limit. So some of you may have experienced, for example, um, a clock rate, a clock frequency drop. So imagine you are at 1300, for example, and it drops to, let's say, uh, 1250, 1200 megahertz, and that is due to your GPU not having enough power to operate at that frequency. And for that, you just need to go here on the power limit, and let's say 35%. 35% power limit will be more than enough for you and I almost guarantee you that your clock speed won't, that your clock, clock f ah, blah, fucking English, sorry guys, I'm not a native. Anyway, um, I almost guarantee you that um, your clock frequency won't drop. Now to the overclocking part, the real overclocking part, let's click here and here to, to the software to show us these numbers and here as well, so we see the frequency of the VRAM and the frequency of the core. For the overclock, we only need to, to use the state 7, so it will be the 3D, the gaming, um, the gaming state, it is the state 7. In this case, the first thing you have to do, in fact, is just um, go and raise the core the core frequency. The core frequency in this case for the RX 570, they all do around 1400 megahertz. It is pretty, pretty, a pretty normal value for these cards, for these GPUs. So let's start with 1400 megahertz. After that, um, 
just you can raise the temperature as well to 73 75 degrees it will be completely okay uh, and so we have the core and we have the voltage and we do apply on the VRAM case you just don't want to to um, to overclock the VRAM unless you are mining in this case you don't want to overclock the VRAM because of what because if you past the, um, the 1750 megahertz the timings will also get higher and you want lower timings for better performance so you have higher frequency but you also have higher timings bigger timings so they will nullify themselves and the performance boost will be almost zero on the vram so no really um not really a good thing to overclock the vram and put stress on the vram if you will have no performance boost unless you are mining of course that's what i said before so let's stay with the vram so we have all this just go to the apply like i did before and you have the gpu overclocked as simple as it can be guys so the next thing to do is go to a game or go to a stress test, for example, 3D Mark, anything you want, go to a stress test and see if the GPU is stable. Go there. If the GPU is stable, you can now go back here and go to the voltage control millivolts and go here. The default on this, uh, on this GPU, it's an Asus Expedition, um, the default on this GPU is 1150 millivolts which is quite higher. So let's now go to the undervolting. What is the undervolting? The, the undervolting is like the name suggests, um, turn, um, diminish, diminish. I think that that's a real word. <laughs> uh, so put a small voltage uh, on the GPU. That is good because of what? Because you will get less heat on the GPU and less power draw. So less wattage, uh, less electri electricity bill and also less heat which is really good so my GPU does 1075 millivolts but your GPU may not be able to do it so just um, just diminish uh, in real really uh, in really um, small steps so imagine the default is 1150 try for example 1130 go to the stress test again in the game and see if it is stable if it is stable go there and put even less 11 10 do the stress test again and so on go to the to the lowest you can get on my case is 10 75 with 1400 megahertz so that's it if you want uh, in case you want higher a uh, frequency you can stay with the uh, 1150 and try something higher like 1450 megahertz or even 1500 megahertz that's all for today guys simple as it can be any doubts you have just go to the comment section i will try to help you the most i can i always do you know it um if you like this kind of videos or any kind of videos check my video section because you may really enjoy them and thanks a lot for watching one more time Let's just don't forget, go to the comment section and tell me uh, any doubts you have. Thanks a lot for watching. Hit like, subscribe and share the video because that helps a lot the channel. And see you in the next one.